Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. It's daily challenge time. Today's daily challenge goes to the dark room. Only Nick has done it on my friends list right now. You didn't do too poorly on yesterday's daily. That's a winning score, I think. He did, well, he didn't die, because if he died, his name would be in red. Um, so I have no benchmark today. We're Lilith going to either the dark room or the uh, the chest. I'm okay with either. We'll we'll see how this goes. I don't. Europa, what happened? I'm I'm walking in the dark right now. You know, I thought you were gonna follow me into the dark like Ben Gibbard on. Uh, uh, this is clearly not worth it. Ben Gibbard on Death Cab for Cutie's song of the same name, but uh, but you're not Ben Gibbard, are you? You've abandoned me in the dark. Much I don't know. Like uh, it happens at one point during. John Carpenter's magnum opus, The Thing. It's it's debatable that that's not John Carpenter's magnum opus. You know, you may consider It Lives to be his magnum opus. As long as it's not Ghost of Mars, that's like pretty much the only thing that matters to me. Um, I, I might have said, They Live? Was that... Did I say It Lives? Because I should have said They Live with Roddy Piper and, and Keith David, of course. Okay, just keep yourself moving around here. We've been very fortunate to be able to use Box of Friends, like, consistently on this floor and get a bunch of battery charges, but all good things must come to an end. This is a very small floor without basically any advantage at all. Uh, a bomb would be nice. So I could maybe have a chance to get to a secret room, spawn an arcade, use a, a blood bank down there to get KB in conception or something uh, to come closer to popping, but, uh, I mean, as of right now, this is basically what we've got. We're gonna have an Incubus and a cube of meat and one less demon heart than we started with because I tried to uh, get that curse room to do something nice for us. It's not a horrible start, I mean, you know, Incubus is awesome. Ah, uh, that was bad. Having uh, having a cube of meat as our orbital is pretty good, but as Lilith, you kind of desperately want something a little bit more uh, overpowered than this to start with. We really need to avoid taking damage on the next floor. Um, and I don't even need to, I don't even mean overpowered, so to speak. I just mean, oh, you think that's a library? I can't go to it yet, but I'm, I'm excited to in the future. Um, I, I just mean, like, I'd like to have some, either some ridiculous DPS or some HP on this floor, if it's at all possible, because, uh, it's gonna get tough. We can do this. Done it, done it 20 times before. Give it a sec. Have, have hope, ye of little faith. We'll get, like, two pennies out of this. If we get lucky, we might, oh, never mind. Uh, because it's a, uh, trinket, we unfortunately just have no means of getting in there. So I'm gonna check this out just to see if it's our, uh, library. And it is. We get Book of Sin. Book of Sin gave us a bomb, so we traded a key for a bomb. And took a book out of the rotation. We also got the Chariot and the Emperor. Um, I'm not going to backtrack. Because it's just, like, I hate backtracking through the spike room. And there's a pretty good chance I'll take damage if I keep coming back through it. So, I think we'll hold the Emperor card. But yeah, a bomb for a key, and a, or a key for a bomb and a card, I'm absolutely for that. Now we can trade in our key, uh, sorry, our bomb for a uh, bomb and a spirit heart, which is, uh, again, just a good trade here. And we even got a key back. Unfortunately, we also got teleport, which is functionally completely worthless. But we probably found our secret room here. And inside of our secret room, we find a battery charge, which is meaningless, but two bombs. Dude, that that one key earlier is just, it's, it's balling out of control here. Okay, um... I did take the pill, and I don't regret it. It was, uh... One makes you small. I think for one bomb, I will go to our shop. Just see what's for sale in there. And there is a dude we can blow up. That's probably gonna be the end of our bomb. So we are now at six cents. And six cents I mostly like, because it can give us, a uh, A chance for an arcade in two floors. And I'm serious when I, when I say that, uh... My main motivation for that is KB in Conception. If we can get a little brimstone or something like that, uh, I'm not going to say all of our problems are solved, but several of the problems we currently face may be solvable in, in, in near fashion. Another spirit heart randomly is also nice. It seems, uh, I don't, I don't want to sound too cocky, but it seems like probably a foregone conclusion will have a pretty good shot at our deal with the devil. Uh, I have made some tactical mistakes, like, hey, there goes our spirit heart. Um... My major tactical, tactical mistake, I think, is not using our battery charge to fight those enemies. Because we do have a battery charge back there that we could uh, take advantage of. But I guess, you know, the blessing is that we get to save it for this room. But I did lose a full spirit heart by not using it sooner. So, a little disappointed, but unlikely to make too much of a major difference. 
And we're going to be out of here in a reasonable amount of time. I don't really want to throw it at the wall and see if we can find our second secret room with only one bomb here. There's just like, there's four good locations for it. And then also that one uh, that could do it as well. Every time I do this, I have to go through this fucking room, man. Is it worth it? For for a half battery charge effectively? I mean, I certainly hope so. I think there was also like the stopwatch in there. Uh, if I could get it, I would like to. By the way, this would be a decent time to pop the Emperor card, but... Better to save it maybe to make sure that we can get to the boss rush, because th obviously that's like a huge indicator of whether or not we're going to do well from a point standpoint. So, it would be awesome if you would just not hit me is a big one, which is why I'm not really trying to use Cuba meat. I'm still like flirting with the idea a little bit here, but I'm not actually going to fuck the idea. I'm just, um, I'm just in it for the thrill of it right now. Um, and I can't really go through with it because we need this black card. But give me HP slash like a deal with the devil that is actually worth taking. Uh, we got the screw and in a way we did get HP and the screw was actually not worth complaining about. It's pretty good. I think we'll play you twice and then we'll probably take a Thame. And the, the reason I take a Thame over the actual familiar here is because it does give us defensive options. Like the, um, defensive benefit that it gives us here, uh... Is that when we get hit, we can spawn some black hearts, obviously. But then the other element of it is that now every time when we get hit, we actually have two advantages that we can draw on instead of just the one. Well, we got a ton of bombs and a decent amount of money here. I do like having the bombs, but I was really hoping I'd get, like, one more key out of this situation. That's okay, though. We're still fine. Uh, this strikes me as a kind of daily that is going to be real tough. And it's, it's definitely fit the bill so far. That could change in, in a heartbeat, you know? You never know what the, you know, the deal with the devil around the corner might contain if you manage to make it work. But uh, for now, this is definitely a tough one. This is one that... Feel like you can kind of differentiate yourself from the, from the general public or the, the average run here just by surviving. Which is nice, because uh, as bad as I am in Isaac, I tend to be a sub-optimal player, but surprisingly... Uh, the hardy, maybe, would be the word I would use. Just to say that, you know, I, I on an a easily one run, I'll end up with two HP left because I got, like, cocky and started to dodge like an idiot. Uh, but on a, on a tricky run that's, you know, has a limited amount of resources, a non-trivial limi limited amount of resources at least, sometimes I, I come through in the clutch and finish that one with two HP as well. So let's hope that's the case. But gotta admit, we it is a slow day, Raffi style right now. Okay. I mean, don't really want to pop a uh, box of friends on this room. Much rather just hold off on it. Ah, oh, the Yara we have to take. Fortunately slash unfortunately. Because it just holds like too much value for us from a daily perspective. But the Emperor card is valuable as well. But if we're not going to use it to teleport out of Boss Rush, then we're, we're mostly using it to teleport out of a curse room or something. Loki's Horns is just okay. But just okay is good enough when you compare it to the other item rooms we've seen so far, which have been... Ah, that sucked. Almost exclusively trash. I can see forever is good. Let's go back and see if we can see a secret room. I really do not want to lose this daily just yet. Uh, obviously, those will not be secret rooms. Come on. Come on. We could always, uh, Yara, a spirit heart, were one to drop. Just give me one HP upgrade. Just one. I remember Nick did this one on Skype at like 3 in the morning last night. He said this daily sucked, no HP. But he only made it to like the, the third floor, so... You never know when it's gonna blossom. You also never know if you don't go, and several times I've found you, you never shine if you don't glow. Lemon party. Range down. Full health. Good to know. Not good, but good to know. This one's all about patience. Yeah. Okay, find the shop. Buy a spirit heart. Redeem yourself in the eyes and hearts of the nation's youths. Eh, maybe. Perks, range down, one makes you small. 
and amnesia. Good lord. Uh, I think we'll not take the other one makes you small pills because uh, I worry that I, I basically will oh, fuck off. <laughs> I, I worry that uh, I'll, I'll become too small to dodge effectively. You're not going to give me a demon heart on that one uh, after all the things we've been through. Where was... Where's uh, where's the shop? I find myself very confused. We need to find it. It's not here. This is where we just were. Did I miss our shop? Obviously, like, I'm not going to go to our secret room. Or, sorry, our, uh, our curse room. Okay, there's our shop. Can't be greed. There is a spirit heart. Good God! I don't think we buy the pill. I think we just try to live through this floor and, uh, and hope for the best. This one is probably the bottleneck on this run. I have taken a little bit of dumb damage, but that dumb damage is well within the realm of, like, acceptable dumb damage that the average run has tolerance for. Let's do this, team. The husk. It's like our ideal enemy if we're in a life or death situation. Doesn't mean we won't die. Does mean we shouldn't die. Good, 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 good. We've done it. We got a spirit heart back. Man, what a what a shitty haul. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do here. We're gonna shoot for the moon. So I'm gonna leave the Yara rune there, and you're saying, oh NL, don't do it, don't do it. No, we're gonna do this. We're gonna go back, grab our Emperor card, walk into the curse room, see what's up there, then teleport out. Because if I don't do it, then who the hell will? Also, this is like really slowing us down. But we gotta hold that Yara rune. The uh, safety pin is not particularly good, but it is what we're stuck with right now. This could actually be worth it. No spirit hearts, two bombs. By could actually be worth it, what I meant to say is that it definitely won't be worth it. And shame on you for getting your hopes up. Uh, the world is a cold, dead place, etc., etc. Okay, well, we can do our boss trap room. Maybe we want to wait this time until we actually have uh, a battery charge. But still, we're alive and, and three spirit hearts is nothing to sneeze at. Well, I mean, you could sneeze at it and, and then, you know, make a case for why you sneezed at it. I think that's reasonably fair. It's not the amount of HP you want to have when your damage is not very good either, but... I, I put faith in the dailies, man. I think the dailies are, to some extent, curated. Still, maybe I'm just, I want to see the good in the world, right? Even a shit daily, I'm like, hey, there's some fun stuff on it. I ate a sandwich while having this daily, how bad could it be, right? It's, uh, it's very, like, a, a dad way to look at things, but, uh, oh, just be careful. Um, we, uh, there's, there's still the possibility for redemption here. And for the run to redeem itself, not for me to redeem myself. As far as I'm concerned, I'm doing right by the run right now. Uh, the, the problem is, how in the hell are we going to actually win this one? Uh, and, and get a lot of points, because we are going so slowly, and I'd really like to not go this slowly. Goat Hoof is worth the time that we're investing here, I think, but... Um, it's so nice to get to Boss Rush as Lilith. Not only do you get the 4,000 points, but you, it's, it's usually easy. You know, you get 100 incubo Incubodes. Item rooms have just been hot trash for us so far. I mean, it's the fourth floor. We have six items. So that should tell you uh, roughly how good our item rooms have been so far. The item we did take from our item rooms was Loki's Horns. An item that previously uh, had been on my list as an item that's not worth taking as a result of, like, weird Ipecac, Dr. Fetus, you know, bullshit interactions. And we haven't really improved our damage at all. We've improved our DPS slightly, but... Apart from that, nothing. Also, we don't have enough HP to actually make, uh... Cain being Conception actually do anything for us, so, you know, it's just a... It's a slog here right now, but... Still, still kicking it. Super Lust actually gives us, uh... A 9 live... No, that's Ultra Pride. It gives us still a Poison Touch chance, maybe? Which would be awesome for, uh... Oh, it's actually Yum Heart? What a, what a waste, man! Is that supposed to be better? You've misjudged it! It's not better! Ah, it sorta worked. 
You know what? It definitely worked. Okay, we are going to check the curse room. Ah, it's a demon judgment, man. That's a, that's a real disappointment. Wow, that, so was that bomb placement. But um, pretty soon, we have to accept that uh, this run will not be headed for a deal with the devil. We're already behind schedule. No item room, no shop, no boss room on this floor yet. Um, yeah, there's no boss rush happening on this run as of right now. Could change, but it has to change, like, real quick. And I, I'm skeptical of the, the chances of that happening. I think we should just focus on, you know, surviving and doing our best to outlive, outlast, outlove on this run. A lot about outlasting and a little about love. That's Alan Jackson Probst. He married Jeff Probst, uh, the Jeff Probst sister. Most people don't know that. Alan Jackson Probst. Yeah, he took, he hyphenated his name. He's a very progressive individual. Our item room is holy water. Okay, this is a daily where I can already see it's just me and Nick uh, struggling in obscurity here today, huh? Me and Nick are going to talk about the daily. Mathis is going to be like, oh, I was too busy watching Deadpool for the 500th time to do the daily today. What did I miss? You missed basically your, like, organic chemistry exam, man. You missed, like, the class that actually makes this hard. Whoa, why is everybody complaining? Good daily today. I don't think so, buddy. I don't think so. Did I get hit twice there? I think I think I got hit twice there. Wow! Okay. Self, fuck off. We do have a deal with the devil chance here. Actually, we have a deal with the angel chance. To put it more succinctly, we should take PhD. PhD gave us a range up. Um we got a two of clubs. Kind of wanted that pill as well, but I figured the, the red card might be worth more. Holy shit, we got actual HP. I can't believe it. And we're fighting the wretched. Like, if there's been any saving grace on this run lately, at least we've mostly been fighting, like, simple enemies. We I think we also just got the uh, leech from KB and Conception, which is not really good with our HP right now. But certainly could be non-existent, so I, I guess I appreciate it. I don't even mean that in a negative way. Like, we don't get life gain out of it, but at least it's some damage, uh, persistent-ish damage over time. Okay, it's the binky. Uh, decent for lowering our tier delay, I guess. And we will have HP when we go down to the next floor, but... We're at, like, 17 minutes, 16 minutes. We're not gonna be doing boss rush. Just, just strap in and prepare yourself for that. Steven is a good pickup. Now, this is where we get to the most frustrating runs uh, that you can possibly have in, in Afterbirth. And those are runs where you all of a sudden get good enough to do boss rush, but far, far too late for it to even be plausible. It's possible, man, that I missed a seam on this one. But for right now, I'm, I'm playing this like a survival game. Like, we're, we're digging deep into the dirt to survive our first night here. I thought there was only two waves, but... I must be mistaken. Now, like, when you first start playing dailies, it really does seem like Boss Rush and Hush are the difference between, um, you know, having a great run and not having a great run. That's not true, strictly speaking. I mean, you can make up for a lot of points by just not ruining your damage penalty and stuff like that. Um, the problem is that there's such a high, like, it's not really the right word for it, but comorbidity, I guess, between, um... Making boss rush and not well, let's put it this way not making boss rush and getting hit a fucking lot of times And the reason is because that it's all tied to your damage for the most part I mean uh, also to an extent your ability to dodge, but you know the the more you The more damage you do the less you have to dodge It's actually it's tied to all your stats I guess but I think I, as I've said many times these Lilith runs can go off the rails if you don't pick up something early, but I, I might be a little bit of mental weakness, you know, giving myself the yips here, unnecessarily speaking. Better safe than sorry on this room. I mean, we do have a battery charge, and uh, in the game's defense, not that I'm insulting the game, lost contact can be okay. We have a decent rate of fire, I'm okay with that, but uh, in, in the game's defense, I'm... Uh, 
I'm not using all of our available resources as much as we should. I should be using uh, Box of Friends a little bit more often. I don't know how much more often, but a little bit more often at least. Yes, this is actually what I was looking for. Because if we fight Greed now, you take away the biggest part of me. But seriously, um, we get uh, a Steam Sale potentially. And then on the next floor, if we get restocked, we can buy literally every item in the game. So I think now, Future Shops, everything is free. I guess we're going to try to make it to Boss Rush, even though that's a ridiculous pipe dream right now. I'd like to point out, we're also like a little slow. Which is making this run just even better. We got a range upgrade and a deal, deal with the devil I can't take against Krampus. Right, okay. Gonna be, gonna be one of those. Please get closer to the middle of the level so you can't just like literally ruin my life with that spinning bullshit. Leech, now would be a great time for some lifesteal, bud. He wouldn't. He, he did! Oh, this daily was jacked, man. Look, I did poorly, but man, this was a horrible daily. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, in spite of it being terrible. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Everybody's got to brick one up sometimes. I'll see you next time.